Hi everybody, it's Tim again. All right, for obvious reasons, this topic is on everybody's mind because very soon we're coming up to an election. So I'm going to answer, I think I've answered this probably several times in different videos, but it's always been kind of in passing, I think for the most part. So just going to definitively you know, answer this question for anybody who may be wondering, I don't know if anybody's wondering, but hey, whatever, I'm going to get ahead of it anyway. And yes, I'm also using this video to kind of remind everybody to get up, go out, and vote. I don't even know when I'm posting this, so it'll probably be this Saturday, but as of the time of recording this, it's October 28th. Uh, elections November 5th, so like I said, get off your butt, get dressed, go vote. Whichever way you're voting, just make it an informed vote and not a blind vote. Uh, what I mean by that, obviously, is look at the policies, look at the world, look at the country, figure out who wants to do what, who's doing what, you know, who's likely lying, who's lost their fucking mind. Yes, one of the candidates has, and she <clears throat> is fake. But that's just my opinion, form your own opinion, and go vote. That's that. Um, now, the question in the title, am I a Republican or am I a Democrat? Judging off what I just said, you're probably going, obviously, you're a Republican. No, I'm not. Uh, truth is, I'm neither one. I always, if you want to put a label on it, then, you know, I always tell people I'm slightly right-leaning independent. But mostly, I'm just independent. That's the key word in that particular label or phrase, whatever you want to call it. I look out for me, I look out for my country, I look out for the people that are in this country, that belong in this country, that have the right to be in this country. And that's just all there is to it. Um, there are so many issues, there are so many talking points some of them are made up BS. Some of them are important. Both sides have a bunch of crap that they're flawed on, but both sides, I'm assuming, have something right. I'll be honest with you, I haven't found anything right with the Democrats, but that's just me. Uh, but I know some of the Democrats have wise, you know, intellectual concerns. Unfortunately, those Democrats just aren't the ones you see in the media and like online and all that. Unfortunately, the only ones that ever come out are the Looney Tunes who have lost touch with all reality. But the simple fact is the right side has extremists. It takes some things way too seriously, it takes themselves way too seriously on some issues and they're just wrong on some things. The left has completely lost touch with the reality in every sense of the matter and it's just, you know, it's a funny farm at this point, and very little else. Um, I mean, it's trying to be a dictatorship, which is, you know, the core issue for this election and why this election is so important. In case you have a guess, yes, I voted already, and I voted for Donald Trump. Would I do it again? you damn straight. I absolutely would. I've known for years at this point that I was going to vote for Trump. No, like I said, I'm not a Republican. And no, I don't care if the man's an asshole. From what I've heard, he's not. But even if he was, I don't care. I really, really don't care if he's an asshole. I don't care about mean tweets. I don't give a shit about any of that. I care that when he was president, he fixed things and he was going to continue to fix things and got interrupted by a bunch of bullshit that the other side did. We won't get into that again. But still, I care that not only the things that he says make sense and it's what this country needs, but I also know, I don't just think, I know that he actually can and will do the things that he says. I know this because when he was in office, he did the things that he said, which is a very rare thing. Uh, it's probably because he's not a politician, uh, which is kind of what we need again. My opinion is what we always need, but you know, we definitely need it again now. Uh, he's not a politician and he actually will get shit done 
like he says he will, and that's what we need. But that's just me. Like I said, do your own research, get your own truths, go vote. Now, as far as some of the hot topics, you know, as they like to call it, uh, the hottest one, of course, everybody wants to think is racism. Here's the thing. Claiming somebody is racist is nothing more now than a defense for the ignorant. Uh, when you hit somebody with truth and they don't have anything to come back with because they know they're wrong, but they don't want to admit they're wrong, they just say, oh, you're racist or, hey, you're transphobic, some kind of phobic, some kind of hot topic that everybody likes to say now that they think gets them off the hook. It doesn't. Everybody knows you're full of shit. Everybody knows you're a dumbass. Nobody likes you because you present in this way, even though in your brain, you have got to know just how fucked up and wrong you are. If you don't, get out of the echo chamber, come back to reality, and learn some shit that you should have learned as you grew up. It's that simple. So that's my topic, or uh, my outlook on that topic. As far as racism, am I saying racism just, you know, has been completely obliterated, doesn't exist whatsoever? No, I haven't. It probably never will. No matter what we do as humans, it will never 100% factually be absolutely gone. It just won't, because there are shitty people, there are hateful people, there are bitter people, you know, just, these people exist, there always will be. There's a new one born every fucking day. They're not going away. I would argue that there's probably more racist black people now than there are white people, just because there are more black people listening to the ignorant media that have told them that this country is completely racist and that they hate, you know, this country hates them, which is not true, of course, at all. Uh, everybody has the same opportunity, regardless of the color of your skin, it only matters what you do, who you choose to associate with, the way you think, the efforts you put in, yada yada, all that, you know. Now, racism is dying and it's very few and far between as far as racist people these days in this country. I know this. I live in the South. We're supposed to be like the most racist part of the damn country. And I would argue that we are probably now the least racist part of the country. Nobody gives a shit about your skin color here. They only care if you treat the country well, you treat your neighbors well, treat your family well, treat your friends well, treat a stranger well, you know, at least be cordial. To strangers i mean you know don't get all up in their business but you know there's a reason why here in the south when we drive past each other we wave and when you see somebody you say hi and even if you don't know them you know just say hey you know, how you doing that kind of thing it's just it's a southern thing because we're not racist we're not assholes are there assholes in the south yes there's assholes everywhere but anyway enough on that topic um, let's see, another topic, since I mentioned the whole trans thing, I have a very simple take on this too. <clears throat> I think that most, like, if you took the whole trans community as a whole, I think about this much of them have lost their minds, and the rest of them are fed up with this many of them. I think it's that kind of situation. Uh, no, if you have a dick you don't belong in the women's bathroom or locker room. And if one of my female relatives or friends happens to be in that bathroom or locker room, you have a dick and you go in there, I will drag your ass out by your throat because you don't belong in there, you're a threat. I'm sorry, but I'm not because that is the truth. You just, you don't belong in there. There's a biological difference between men and women and the two do not need to be in the same pisser. It's that simple. Uh, is it partly because, you know, very bad people take advantage of this? Yes, that is a big part of it. But even people who are genuinely trans are still a threat because they're still fucking human and they're still there, you know? It's just that simple. And it's been proven in the media, they're bullshitters, but it's been proven like, over and over again, these situations, like in the prisons and all this other shit, like, it's evidence, you know? You can base your thoughts and your assumptions, well, not assumptions, but you can base your thoughts and your conclusions 
on evidence. We have plenty of it. Use it. As far as trans people go, do I care if you're trans? Nope. Don't give a shit. Right back to how do you treat people? You know, do you love your country at least enough to actually act like a model, or not model, but at least decent citizen would be nice. If you do all that, fuck it. I'm good. Like, cool. You know, if you're a dude, stay out of a women's bathroom. Hell, if you're a woman, stay out of the dude's bathroom. If I'm pissing, don't be next to me unless you're pissing in a stall or a urinal. You know, if you're a dude, go in the men's bathroom. If you're biologically a female, go in the women's bathroom. Not hard. Matter of fact, a lot of places actually have, you know, like a unisex bathroom. Awesome. Use those. Maybe more places should have unisex bathrooms. Hell, it'd be more convenient, especially for poor women who have to wait in the bathroom all the time, which is just crazy for us men, because normally we don't have to do that unless it's like a big giant event or something. I'm thankful for that. Don't get me wrong. That is a privilege that men have. Uh, but yeah, I don't have a problem with trans people. I know them. I'm related to them. Actually, I don't have a problem with it. I really don't. It's when you lose your fucking mind and lose touch with the reality that it becomes a problem. So, if you don't cross that line, you know, that's fine. We're good. Uh, let's see. What's another hot-ass topic anybody wants to talk about? Yeah, there's too many of them. Okay. You know what? This video is getting long already. I don't want to do that to you. You don't have time to sit through all this rambling and shit. But, yeah. The answer to the question is I am not Republican. I am not Democrat. I am independent. I think for myself, I'm a free thinker. We all should be, no matter which party you're in, you should still be a free thinker. And that's that. But however you feel, whatever you think, get off your butt and go vote. It's important, especially in this election. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Now that you watch this one, you might as well watch this next video right here.